everybody welcome back to our channel my pretty fabrics here the african print and the satin i'm going to cut out uh 75 by 75 a square on both of them and cut my circle 75 square what i want to do i would want to remove the south edge always remove the south edge let's do this guys Fold your fabric in half. In quarter. What you want to have, you want to have a fold there. Don't cut on this side. Don't measure on the other side. Measure where you have got the right angle with the fold. As you can see there. Now I'm going to measure up for my circle. I'm going to make it 35. You want to measure 35, it's quite a big one. You want to measure 35 centimeters all the way around. I've cut along the lines now I'm going to cut another one on the yellow fabric I've cut along the lines along that line and then I've done the notches make sure you notch it up before you open it out on two corners i've cut my second circle i've put them right sides together and put some pins and i'm going to machine stitch all the way around but i have to leave a space there so that i'll be able to turn it inside out i've left about 15 centimeters I've machine stitched 0 0.5 from the edge. Now I want to turn it inside out from the opening which I left. I've just ironed and put some pins just to close the opening before we finish it off. Now we want to make the elastic casing. We'll start with the ruffle first and then draw the line for the elastic casing. My ruffle is going to be from here to here, six centimeters. <laughs> coming in and I, I measured six centimeters that six centimeters is the ruffle size you can change the ruffle size if you want make it bigger or make it smaller from the ruffle size line coming inwards i measured 1.5 centimeters to form the elastic casing this section is still open there because i've put the pins what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the pins and thread the elastic. That's my finished bonnet. I can turn it inside out whenever I want to. Beautiful. While you're having breakfast, you can wear this. <laughs> 